Oh. Hi, I'm Tyler. Welcome back to Quarantine Creations, where we're having fun building with Lego and learning at the same time. This week, we're building something fun and new, and that is castles. I love castles, and we're going to be building this little guy. This little guy is going to teach us all about building castle walls. Let's get started. So this little guy that we're going to build today is all about being super strong and defensible. He's got all these different castle wall sections that are going up towards this main tower keep area. And that's what we're going to be learning about is all these different ways that we can use to make castle walls. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is create a base for our castle to be on. So here are all the pieces that we need for the first level of our castle walls. And we're gonna start by using these corner bricks. And these are gonna be a great way of making our castle corners not look quite so sharp and jagged. Next, we're gonna use these masonry bricks that look like they're made out of bricks. And we're gonna make the rest of the walls with those. These bricks are a great way to get texture on a wall that is very small. Now here in the front is where our front gate is going to be. So we're gonna use this arch with a little gate piece in it. These arch pieces are great because they fit right in with the gate piece that we're using. On the inside, we're going to put some of these tiles down and we'll see how these are used a little bit later. Next, we are going to use these little clip pieces. We're gonna put these along our wall, and these are going to look a lot like the crenellations, which is a fancy word for the uh, defense pieces that kind of stick up along the top of a castle wall. And we're gonna leave some spaces here for some fun little windows in a second. Now we want to spruce up our wall a little bit, so we're going to use these little headlight bricks. But we're going to turn them this way. Put a little brown roof piece on top. And these create some fun little windows or additional fortifications up on top of the wall. Now we're ready to move on to the next level. Here are the next wall segments that we're going to make. We will make three of this one and only one of this one.
for this little section of the wall, we are using these brackets with some more clips attached to the top to look like a different type of crenellations or battlements up on top of the wall. And behind this, we are going to create another section of wall. We're going to use these Technic bricks with the axle hole in the middle of it. And this axle hole kind of makes it look like a cross. And in a lot of old castles, they would have windows that looked like crosses. We're going to make three of these, which I've already done. And these are going to go in here like so. Next, we're going to build some turrets to go in the corners here. And these are the pieces we'll need to do so. You will need to make four of this turret. For the tops of these, I'm using a dish and a little cone. It kind of makes it look like a little rooftop on top of that turret. Here are all the pieces that we're going to need for the next section of our tower. This section is the keep. This is the primary, final piece of defensive battlements that you would find in a castle. This is usually where the king would live, and this is certainly where I would want to live. Like our windows before, we're going to take these headlight bricks and turn them on their side. And whether you're building a house or a castle or anything that has windows, these headlight bricks are a great way to create little window frames on the outside of your building. Another piece we can use to create battlements are these panels. These are corner panels, and we can use them to create the top of this tower. And then we have a space to put another section of our tower on top of this. So let's make that now. And for the final section of our tower, we will need these pieces. We are using these three by three plates to create this section so that it's just smaller than our 4x4 four four tower there. Now I want to create some fun little windows, so we're going to use these pieces here. There's one with a bar on it and one with a clip on it, and these can clip together and it makes a little cross shape, and we were already talking about the fact that some castles had kind of these cross-shaped windows, so I think these are gonna look really nice for windows. I'm gonna use these tap pieces in these spaces here, and this will create kind of like a little window pane look in the middle, and hopefully that'll have a nice castle-y look to it. next section of our tower here is going to be four wide again because I want the tower to expand another level at the top. Along the top edge of this, simply using one by one round plates can be a nice way of adding decoration and the illusion of some more crenellations or battlements up on top of the wall. Now a fun way to transition from these two is we have a 3x3 three three grid of studs here and on the bottom of this plate we have a 3x3 three three grid of the tubes here in the middle. So when we put those two together we get this really nice half plate offset on all sides and it's very easy to do. The last detail that we are going to add to this tower 
It's a little flag, so we're using this bar with a plate on top and a tooth plate in orange. And now we can attach the keep to our castle. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching this episode on building castle walls. I hope you'll take some of the techniques that you might have learned in this video and create your own awesome castles. See you next time.